Hey folks, welcome into some WNBA action on 2K Sports. And tonight we've got the Minnesota Lynx playing against the Las Vegas Aces. I'm Blake Suniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. Both these teams coming into this game on a roll. It'll be fun to see which one of them can stay hot. Well, when you're firing on all cylinders, you certainly want these kinds of matchups. Confidence is sky high on both sides. And neither team wants to give away all the momentum they've built up. So there's a little extra on the line in this one. And that one's good. Collier. The ability to catch and shoot comes down to quick decision making. And I think Collier has a pretty good grasp of that. Up top, Young. Wilson, left side. And she drops in the layup off glass. Well, a focal point of Wilson's game is crashing the glass. And she really just refuses to quit on any play. Now here's Collier. Pass to Goddess. The three. Drains the three-pointer. Three her ability is matched only by her energy, guys. She's usually in the middle of everything for them. Now here's Clark. Over Collier. Shot's good by Clark. Well, for someone like Clark, who has shot over 50% from deep over an entire season, I mean, mid-range has got to feel like a layup. Now here is Goddess. Nafisa Collier on the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. You know, she shouldn't miss those, but, you know, it happened to the best of them. Pass to Queen. Back to Young. Takes the three. Good. First shot, first basket. Early on, nearly perfect from the floor. Just one miss on their first five shots. And here's Shepard. Court Queen. Guarded by Young. Here's a Chanwa. And she can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And Jackie Young, the first pick in the 2019 draft, averaged just six points per game as a rookie. But she used that number as tool and motivation. And Young earning an all-star game nod in 2022, plus winning a title with the Aces. A great example of investing in yourself. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. And she's good on the three ball. She found the perfect spot behind the arc there. A big gap in the D. Now Queen. Pass to Young. Wilson right side. Just for a shoot. The fadeaway in the hoop for her third make from the field. She's three for four thus far in the contest. You just got to admire the tenacity that she has. Here's Shepard. Court queen guarded by Young. Collier outside. Shepard, the screen. Tries it from the top of the key. Yes, on the jump shot. You know, she has the ability to run both sides of the pick and roll. Collier, a dynamic offensive player. A ball handler and finisher. Now here is Queen. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Here's Clark. Off on the layup. Yeah, she tried to fight her way through traffic and just couldn't do it. Now, here's Court Queen. Defense is right there. Pass to Shepard. Court Queen with it. Collier outside. Shoots over Wilson. Collier can't get it to go. That's one she knows she should have drained. Here's Queen, covered by Goddess. Now, here's Young. outside. Queen. 
Pass to Wilson. Here's Queen. Clark, covered by Collier. Young shot is off. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space, and she whiffs on an open jumper. With the shot. Goddess, no good. Now the aces with it. And here's Queen. From downtown. Shepard pulls it in. Here's Goddess. Knocks down the three ball. The ace is trailing. Queen with the ball. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Wilson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Candace Parker. That's four makes in five tries now, and she's really just had a great first quarter, hasn't she? Court Queen with it. Guarded by Young. Shepard, the screen. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. What a selfless decision by Collier. She sees someone with a better look, gets him the ball. Here's Queen. Pass to Clark. Up top, Wilson. Lays it up and banks it in. A bruiser in the painted area. Wilson also has a soft touch. And here's Shepard. Or Queen. Collier. She's covered by Clark. Collier inside. Wilson pulls it down. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. Pass to Queen. Now Parker. Defended by Achanwa. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. And when the L.A. Sparks won the 2008 draft lottery, Candace Parker was the automatic first overall pick. And what a career she had in Los Angeles, winning MVP as a rookie, playing over a decade with the Sparks. Candace leaving a serious basketball legacy in L.A. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And for Candace Parker, winning a title in 2021 with her hometown Sky, man, you know that was extra sweet. It, it was special. I mean, Parker signing as a free agent with the Sky, taking a giant leap after spending her first 13 seasons with the Sparks. But Candace was rewarded with a parade in Chicago, her hometown. And that one falls, and that puts them up. It's a one-point game now. A leader both on and off the floor, Parker's experience is so important to this team. Here's Milich. She's guarded by Wilson. Back to McBride. Clock at six. Pass to Juhas. Sinks that one from the post. And back and forth we go. That bucket gives us another lead change. And there have been too many of those to count. These teams have matched each other shot for shot, play for play. Man, I hope this game keeps on going forever. Nailed from three-point land. Demonstrating how dangerous she can be from deep. But Plum doesn't lack confidence in firing the three ball. Now here is Goddess. Nine points in the game. And the basket by McBride. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Here's Las Vegas. They trail by one. Now here is Queen, covered by Goddess. Buries it from three-point range. Outside powers. Goddess from the arc. Candace Parker with the rebound. Outside Plum. 
Now here is Queen. Guarded closely. Wilson the screen. Pass to Queen. Wilson. Four on the shot clock. Cans it from downtown. A strong combination of finesse and skill. And look, when Wilson's rolling, keep feeding her the ball. Now here's Powers. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Here's Parker. Up top, Plum. That's good, and it's Candace Parker with the assist. And this is the mindset Plum has to possess, because when she buries quick shots, it gets her going. Now Goddess. Nine points in the game. No good again that time. The ace is leading. Puts up a three. Another three for Las Vegas. Looks like they're going to have one of those days where they can do no wrong. Well, they certainly haven't done anything wrong so far. Stretching the lead into double digits already. Such a hot start. Right outside. Pretty shot with about a second to spare. Yeah, and as the defending team, you can't stand giving up a shot like that to close out the quarter. It's almost like you lose a possession. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Ace is ahead, leading by nine. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter two. Well, not exactly a neck-and-neck -neck game, but as the second quarter starts, there is plenty of time for a comeback. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Aces so far? They've come out of the gate strong and put in a solid first quarter. A lot of good looks for them on offense so far, just quality shots. So the Lynx now, nine-point game. To the middle. On the wing, Raquana Williams. He's guarded by Court Queen. And here are the links now. Powers a screen. McBride with the ball. And Williams picks her up defensively. Pass to Court Queen. For three. It's hauled in by the Aces. Even with the decent coverage that time, she has every bit of confidence to drill that three. Absolutely, just keep shooting. I wouldn't bet against her the next time she's in that situation. Here's Stokes. Back to Plum. It's stolen by McBride. And here's the fast break. Pass to Mitchell. Juhas. Right outside. Drills the three-pointer. With a smooth touch from outside, McBride's versatility leaves defenses pretty vulnerable. And here's Parker. Outside Williams. Parker with the screen. And Williams gets it to go. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Mitchell outside. McBride. She's guarded by Plum. To the inside. Court Queen. And the layup's good off the glass. With strong court vision and awareness, McBride is able to read defenses and find the open teammate. Now here's Parker. Pass to Colson. Parker. The three ball. Mitchell grabs the board. The Lynx trailing. 
right outside. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Williams. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebounding tip. They haven't allowed many second chances. It's been one and done for the most part, and that's helped them build this lead. Here's Colson. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Just like me, nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone like that. Now here's McBride. Mitchell outside to the paint. Juhas. Hey, hey, that's her second shot and her second basket. My math says that's two for two. A nice conclusion to a good-looking possession. Coach has got to be happy about that one. Here's Colson. Here's Williams. Marker inside. Powers covering. How about the smaller player eating some glass? Here's Port Queen. Offensive rebound. Good on the shot. Go. A player that's effective from three-point land. Powers is at home in the paint, pouring that bucket closer in. And just over three and a half minutes played in this second quarter. Outside Williams. Pass to Parker. Back to Williams. Shot clock at six. Fades away. Parker's shot's good. A pure looking shot there. Give Parker the mid-range J and she's happy to take it. Now here's McBride. Court Queen. Knocked loose. Williams with it. Parker with the screen. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to the strike for two. First personal foul. Team's first. It's her first trip to the line. At the line for your Las Vegas Aces, Kia Stokes. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Both teams deciding to change it up. Both shots good from the strike. And here are the links now. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Pass to Collier. Las Vegas grabs the miss. They've led by as many as 11 points. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. Just a ton of effort out of them down low. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. That's what's put them in front. Now here's Young. And so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. It's going to be on Jessica Shepard. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. Jackie Young. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And the ace is making a change here. So she hits both. Another trip to the stripe for them, and a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter. A little more banging. And that's serving them well, seeking out contact and putting pressure on the defense. Now here's Collier. 
Five points in the game. Chanwa the screen. Inside. Wilson with the steal. Now here's Parker. Pass to Plum. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Court Queen. Here's Goddess. Collier outside. Down low. It's stolen by Jackie Young. Now here's Parker. She's guarded by Shepard. And that one's good. Wilson. Quality court vision to find the open teammate. Parker's guard-like skills are just on full display. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. They need to stop this run. I think it's time to switch things up, either by going to the bench or with a different look defensively. Oh, you're inside. Guarded by Young. Pass to Goddess. Six to shoot. And here's Court Queen. Sinks the three-pointer. She might not be the top sharpshooter in this league, but that's not a shot that D can afford to give to her. Screen by Young. There's the three. Queen shot is good. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. Now Goddess. She's got nine. Collier outside. Chanwa the screen. Call your right side. Pass to Shepard. Goddess. Port Queen. No good with the triple. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. That gets her going here in the second quarter after hitting two from long range in the first. And when it comes to WNBA accolades, Kelsey Plum has a knack for racking them up. A champion, all-star, sixth player of the year. In fact, in her first all-star game appearance, Kelsey Plum won all-star game MVP. Few players can say they've done the same. Six on the shot clock. And it's call you're missing. There's no way around it. It's been a difficult game for her offensively, and it has cost her team. Pass to Queen. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the lane. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go through the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The D got lucky. You know, some players you can give that shot to, but let me be clear. She is not one of them. Terrible job by the defense. Now here is Queen. 
Nine points in the game. And she jams it in with authority. Strong awareness from Wilson. She knows that opponents lock in on her, so she's happy to dish and keep her teammates involved. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. And guys, I heard that Asia Wilson got her first championship ring sized for her pinky finger. Now that is bravado. Saying you're starting on your pinky finger so you can fill up the other rings in order, you just gotta love that level of raw ambition for a star player. to Goddess. To the paint. Shepard, good. Showing off the muscle on that contact finish. Please tell me you didn't think a little contact would disrupt Shepard. And it's the Aces with the ball. And here's Queen. 11 points in the game. It's good from long range. Well, you gotta like her shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Pass to Shepard. Now a John one. Pick ride. Guarded by Young. Shepard with it. Back to McBride. Five to shoot. Shoots over Young. And it's Minnesota scoring again. Yeah, a reliable and trustworthy scorer. McBride works hard to break down defenses, game in and game out. Now here is Queen. 14 points for her. Wilson, and she banks in the layup. And really, guys, it's been an exceptional performance from her from the field. And here are the links now. Trailing by 13. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Goddess with the ball. 12 points for her. Pass to Collier. Fader on the way. And it's Minnesota scoring again. Well, it's a player who does use the mid-range. It's part of what makes Collier difficult to defend. She can score from everywhere on the offensive end. And that concludes the first half. The Aces on top. They lead by 11. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going.
Well, it's been a one-sided affair through the first two quarters, but there is plenty of time to mount a comeback. Wilson has been dominant in this game. Her decision-making, simply flawless today. Nothing but quality shots from her in the first half. She wasn't forcing anything. Yeah, but I think here in the second half, they may want her to be a little more assertive and start taking more shots, even the tough ones. Hello and welcome back. Third quarter just about to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. Pass to Shepard. Court Queen. And the call will be against Alicia Clark. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Court Queen. Gotta love the effort right there. Young doing whatever she could to distract the shooter. And the three off target. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Now here is Goddess. Pass to Court Queen. Outside of Chanwa. Now here is Goddess. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner because it's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep ball. Queen with the ball, covered by Goddess. Queen, shot is good. The rapid-fire three is coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Now here is Goddess. She's got 15. Shepard to the inside. Collier can't get it to go. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Pass to Young. And here is Wilson. She's guarded by Shepard. Wilson with the bucket. Coming into the league as a great passer. Young has that radar on her, knowing where everyone is on the court. Collier, right side. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And here's Court Queen. Inside. Just two to shoot. And that one's good. Collier. Wow. I mean, did she ever sell that pump fake well? Worked to absolute perfection. Now here is Queen. 17 points in the game. Let's it go from deep. The offensive rebound. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. And it's going to be on Jessica Shepard. On the night, she's two for two at the stripe. Candace Parker. And that one misses. And she's good on the second. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes passed. Here's Goddess. 15 points in the game. Pass to Achanwa. Collier. Six to shoot. Let's the three fly. Another three for Minnesota. A legitimate threat from beyond the arc. Collier feels comfortable trying her luck whenever she's given the chance. The three. Queen misses. I think that one could have easily fallen for her. The D may have done just enough there. 
off the mark, had a chance there to trim it to single digits. And you love how Nafisa Collier has stepped up to become a real leader on the floor. I think we all expected it from the former Rookie of the Year, but it's nice to see her as a guiding voice on the floor, someone that other players can look to in the big moments. Wow, hey, this quarter has been ugly for her. And it's not showing signs of turning around anytime soon. Her touch is all but gone. Now here is Goddess. Collier outside. Pass to Goddess. Jacks up a three. Another three for Minnesota. Back-to-back -back three pointers for them. The defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three, or you'll give up points in a hurry. Queen with the ball, covered by Goddess. And here is Wilson. Jackie Young on the wing. That's good, and it's Asia Wilson with the assist. Of their last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is smash mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, they're really imposing their will offensively and getting exactly the kind of looks they want. Now time a timeout, timeout called by Minnesota. Well, guys, Asia Wilson continues to demonstrate why she's a top defender. The 2022 WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, Asia Wilson takes defense very seriously, and she expects her teammates to do the same. You just gotta love how she sets the tone. Powers. Goddess. Queen covering. Goddess. No good. Now Queen. To the middle. Wilson. It's good. He's carrying a lot of the load offensively, and normally that's good news for them. And here are the links now. A 12-point game. Pass to Powers. Achanwa with it. Collier outside. Now Goddess. And the Lynx miss again. Queen covered by Goddess. And here's Queen. 17 points in the game. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Court Queen. Pass to Goddess. This one for three. That's in, and she's 7 of 12 now for the game. I mean, that shot just becomes effortless for her when the defense is so relaxed like that. And here are the aces now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Clark with it. Out of bounds. It'll be Lynx ball. The ball goes to Minnesota. Now into the lineup for Las Vegas. Number 10, Kelsey Clark. 
Minnesota trailing. Collier with it. 12 points for her. Goddess, no good. Mark outside. Pass to Queen. Inside. Here's Wilson. Soft touch off the glass. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. Here's a Chanwa. Shoots a three. Rebounded by Parker. And not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. They've been the aggressors, plain and simple, outworking them inside. Queen misses. She is frigid from three. I don't know what's worse, the fact that she can't hit anything from out there or the fact that she keeps on trying to. Well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for the last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. Now here is Queen. She's got 17. Three-pointer, Kelsey Plum. Hits it from three-point range. Well, if you hit a three on Plum's team, you just know Kelsey wants to respond in time. Now here is Goddess. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. And it's obvious where Kelsey Plum gets her athleticism. I mean, just look at her family. Yeah, her mom was a volleyball player in college while her dad played football and baseball. Now you put all that together and you see that Kelsey Plum has carved out her niche on the hardwood. Powers. She's covered by Clark. Pass to Goddess. And here's Juhas. Here's Goddess. Connects from three-point range. That's a dozen straight points coming off of threes. Yeah, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it, non-existent. Now here is Queen. 17 points in the game. Wilson in the post. Good work there as it goes. There's a pattern taking shape. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Yeah, four of their last five baskets have been of exactly that variety. Powers with it. She's covered by Clark. Pass to McBride. Goes up on the wing. It's hauled in by the Aces. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And here's Queen. Offensive rebound. Parker, no good. And here are the links now. Trailing by 10. To the paint, Collier. And she uses the glass on the layup. So far, going for more of an inside game here in the second half. 
And it's the Aces with the ball. Pass to Queen. Back to Plum. And she was camped there in the lane, and she gets the three-second call. So the Lynx now. Eight-point game. Mitchell outside. Pass to you, Haas. All sorts of time. Sinks it. What range from downtown. The defense really slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Bottom line is this. Those triples, they sure add up, don't they? They've got to make the adjustment. Three-pointer, Kelsey Plum. Good on the three-point shot. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. And here are the links now. Now here is Goddess. The tray. Rebounded by Parker. Pass to Plum. Got it. Good job in the low post. Really coming into her own the last couple of seasons, Kelsey Plum is now a problem for defenses. Right outside. Pass to Goddess. That three off the mark. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. The Aces on top. They're up by 10. And after a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Joining us again, the fourth quarter of play should begin in moments. And the Aces with possession. Ten-point lead. To the inside. Wilson in the post. Powers covering. Count the baskets. Defensively, they've got to start bodying them up. You know, get a little bit more physical and help your chances at winning this game. Yeah, they're getting out last in the paint. And the worst part, it's at both ends of the floor. Now, here's Court Queen. Pass to McBride. Shoots the three. That's another one for her. Her fifth in just seven shots. And they are just killing them with the three-point shot here in the second half. Yeah, and the defense knows it. They are fully stretched out there trying to stop the three and still haven't been able to do hey, it. I don't know defensively what they can do different at this point. Plum, that's good. They're doing a terrific job of getting the ball inside, attacking the paint. That's an area, and it's a key area on the court that they've controlled. Yeah, once they identified what an edge they had inside, they just continued to attack. Now here's Powers. Pass to Court Queen. No good from outside. Fourth quarter, still young. Just over a minute played. Here's Queen. She's covered by Mitchell. Back to Plum. Wilson with it. Powers covering. Wilson no good. Here's Court Queen. No good on the triple. Some great tight defense right there. Got right up on her and forced the miss. 
just close enough to bother her on the shot, but disciplined enough to avoid too much contact. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Pass to Powers. Using the post moves to get the two points. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Timeout called the Aces. Link's making a switch here. Now Plum. Here's the pick. The left wing. Pass to Queen. The three is up. Gets it to go from downtown. What a perfect release that time. I thought it might get blocked, but nope. Yeah, she was giving up a lot of size in that matchup. Excellent ability to get off the long-range shot. And she had one in the first as well. And look, we all know that she can be dangerous from downtown. So the defense can't forget about her. Now here's Williams. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Well, despite her ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options. Three-pointer. Chokes with the rebound. Outside Plum. Pass to Queen. Young. Sinks the triple. Well, usually she's providing the pass. Young has to be happy to be on the receiving end of a catch and shoot. More than willing to fire. Here's Court Queen. Powers. And here's Juhas. Stolen by Plum. Now Young. Powers covering. Right side Young. Back to Plum. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jackie Young. What effort from Plum down in the paint. Outworking the defense and getting a shot. Now the Lynx with it. They trail by 16. Pass to Court Queen. Drills it from outside. Right now, the defense needs to work on closing out on her because she is heating up from outside. Queen with the ball. Now guarded by McBride. Juana Williams for three. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. She's knocking down her shots today, but it unfortunately hasn't really translated to the scoreboard. Pass to Plum. Fires for three. Rebound 
Kayla McBride. They had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she's open like that, you don't see her miss that sort of look very often. Now here's McBride, the screen by Collier. McBride left side, four on the clock. Here's Fort Queen, offline with a three. Down low, Plum. Two points, that one goes in. She's had such a steady hand, and I think watching this game, She's the one responsible for getting them this lead late. Yeah, her shooting percentage is unreal right now. Just so dependable here today. Yeah, I mean, that's not heads-up basketball. Why try the fadeaway when no one's on you? Pass to Queen. Back to Plum. Outside Young, launches a three, the shot no good. Powers guarded by Young, now Juhas, and she converts the layup. She's really maybe the only thing that stood out for them today, and she's kept her edge even as they're trailing. by Plum. Takes the three. Good on the triple. What an exhibition she's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. Pass to Court Queen. Up top, Powers. Pick ride. And Queen pulls it down. Winner Jackie Young. Minnesota grabs the miss. Collier outside. Shoots over Williams. And it's Collier missing. And confident play we're seeing out of them. Yeah, the scoreboard tells the story. Outside Young. Plum covered by Collier. Pass to Stokes. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And the Aces call time here. Las Vegas calls time out. Teams will make substitutions. And the first one drops.
So one for two that time at the stripe. And the Lynx pushing it up now. Collier outside. To the inside. Goddess. She's covered by Clark. From deep. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And if you leave anyone that wide open, you're just asking them to punish you. And they did there. Pass to Queen. To the middle. Wilson with the bucket. She's got a lot of firepower right now. What a hack she's having. Now here is Goddess. She's covered closely. Now here's Collier. She's covered by Clark. Collier, that's good. Finding a way to score down low. Collier can score with her left or right. Makes her very difficult to track and guard. And they can burn some clock if they want. And calm down. Get a little breather here, too. Green with the ball. Three-pointer Jackie Young drops in the tray. And they're getting that lead way up there by right now. It should be easy for them the rest of the way. Yeah, and at this late stage of a game, a lead like that has a team feeling awfully good. And the other one bad. Now here's Collier. Inside. Shepard, good. Jessica With Shepard. the perfect physical frame for interior scoring, Shepard can sure do some damage down low. Now here's Young. Pass to Queen. Wilson with it. And here's Queen, covered by Goddess. Here's Queen. That's good. And so Asia Wilson with the assist. Great hustle play right there, guys. Energy, passion. This is what you play the game for. Here's Collier. Here's Goddess. Queen covering. And that one's good, Goddess. Well, their offense is kicking the gear, but it's come just a little too late. I think it may be, but at least they're finally showing some signs of life offensively. But too bad it's past the point where it'll do them much good. Yeah, absolutely. Now, here's Young. Wilson the screen. Alicia Clark on the wing. Alicia Clark on the wing. Another three for Las Vegas. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They got to keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Pass to Shepard. Court Queen. Collier. She's covered by Clark. Here's Court Queen. Try to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Now here is Queen, covered by Goddess. Now Queen. So it's the Aces winning this one easily. They poured it on tonight. A dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. This game really a defining game for what they can do when they're playing at their best. Being here at home helps, but, but the execution anywhere was terrific. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.